Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. I, uh, I feel like I'm missing something. There it is. On today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about this lovely key light, the Godox SL60D. There are certain pieces of technology in a filmmaker's toolkit that almost have become disposable these days despite their heavy price tag. You know, camera technology is advancing so quickly these days. I remember just a few years ago, it was unthinkable to have a 4K camera. And nowadays it's almost standard, even though sometimes we don't display everything in 4K and some of the people don't even have 4K TVs. A lot of people don't have 4K TVs. Now there's talk of 6K cameras or 8K cameras or 8K with full frame. There is a tendency to get trapped in a endless cycle of gear acquisition that you always think you need the latest and greatest things. Lenses can be like this sometimes. So you think you need to acquire every single lens possible, every single focal length, a prime, a zoom, a telephoto zoom, a wide angle, what have you. Then there's the drone game where you need a new drone every single year because they came out with the latest and greatest stabilization or obstacle avoidance or megapixels or what have you. However, there are some pieces of gear in its filmmaker's toolkit that if you invest and take the time up front to invest in the right way, they can last you for many, many years. You know, two pieces of gear that I think are like this are a good microphone and a good light. I'm currently shopping for what is the right microphone for me and I haven't made up my mind yet. However, I think for me, the light that I've chosen, the Godox SL60D, is one of the best choices for me personally at this time. Now, how did I hear about this light? There is a YouTuber named Tommy Calloway that is a great guy. I've talked to him on Twitter a couple times. He's super friendly and nice. He's made two videos about this specific light. One comparing it to the Aperture 120D, which is five times the price of this light. And the other was really a cool video where he actually replaced the fan inside this light to get a quieter fan. Now, I'm gonna go over some features and benefits of the product here in a little bit, and also some things that you may be considered before you buy. But for me, I was so excited when I heard about this light, merely for the price. The price of this light is $134 right now on b and Photo, $134. A popular light that most YouTubers use is what's called an Aperture 120D. It's a beautiful light, very flexible in its uses, has really high quality, and it's very pleasing to the eye when you put a soft box on top of it. However, this light for $134, you could buy six, seven, eight of those lights and not even touch the price of an Aperture 120D. And in this video, I'm gonna to try to convince you of why maybe you should consider this light as a viable option for the 120D. Now, what are some of the features that I think are really great for a lot of people with this product? The first off, it's not a bicolor light, it's a daylight balanced light, meaning it's this nice pleasing temperature to the eye. It's at 5600 Kelvin, which is a common daylight temperature. So it's not bicolor, you can't switch between daylight and tungsten, it's just the 5600 Kelvin, which is okay for me if I'm in a studio. This light is only AC powered, meaning if you need to take it out and in the middle of the desert have a key light, this is not the light for you. But for me, I only use this light in a couple different places and all the places that I use it have AC power around them. I've used this light for a photo booth at a couple different events where people can come over on a backdrop that's a displaying light to and just take a selfie. It's worked great for that. I've used it for this setup as well as a couple different interviews. And each time I'm super impressed with the quality of this light, even if it's not a battery powered light. It does come with a wireless remote, which you saw earlier. And this allows it to be dimmable from this actual remote. So from this remote, I currently am at 50% um, strength. I can go all the way down to 10%. And it's there. It does take a little bit of time. It's not super, super quick to go from 10 to 50. Now we're gonna go from 10% brightness all the way to 100% brightness. It's bright. So 
While it does come with a nice wireless remote, it does take a little bit of time to go back and forth between the, your brightness percentages. I'm gonna turn this back down to 50 um, so I can keep talking to you guys and, and you guys won't be upset at the uh, amount of brightness I have here. 50% on the dot. You can have the ability to group this light with other lights. There's a wireless dimmer on the back of this as well as an LED screen that tells you the temperature of the, the fan the percentage where you're at, and as well as the color temperature. The other great feature of this light is it is equipped with a balance mount on the very front of the light. What do I mean by that? The balance mount has a lot of different options as far as flexibility goes and what you can attach to the front of the light. Right now, I have a nice 37 inch soft box attached to this, so it's diffusing the light through two different layers before it gets to my face and it becomes very pleasing. If you didn't want a soft box on it, you could put a actual spotlight reflector on it so it becomes a spotlight if you need that. Now what are some recommendations for accessories that I have for you guys? You know I got a 37 inch Godox softbox on b &H for around 30 bucks on top of it so total price we're talking now $134, $36, we're right around um, $170, $180. Bucks. I got a heavy duty light stand, um, not a C stand for this light so and it is air powered, so it has some cushion to it when I actually put the light on there. And that's it. It comes with a charging cable in the box and it comes with a remote for you as well. So that's it. That's really it for today's video. I just wanted to show you this awesome find for the price. You can't beat it. It's very flexible when it comes to video. It has a high quality rating on the light and it's very flexible as far as what you can attach to the front of it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on this light that I've got. And if you like videos that are on this channel as well as this one, just hit the like button below. It really helps encourage me as well as everybody else that contributes to this channel. If you wanna stay up to date on this channel and everything we're doing, hit the subscribe button so you get notified when we actually post a new video. Until next week, I'll talk to you later.